morning welcome back to a new vlog welcome back to a sunday lizard vlog i absolutely love watching these on youtube and i thought why don't i take you along and show you how i do my sunday lizard vlog so basically it's just all the things we need to do all the planning all the prep to make sure this week runs as smoothly as possible because Sunday scaries are a real thing guys and I learned that if you are not prepared or you don't prepare yourself for the week then somewhere something ugh, is gonna just go wrong and be messed up so what I just did I washed my face with this face wash I used Silky, this cleanser, for about three weeks, but after like a week and a half of use, I started feeling like burning sensation on my face and my forehead, and then it would start to like really get itchy, and then I immediately knew it's my face wash or it's my serum, so I switched up my face wash, I've been using this one for a week now and um the burning sensation is gone i have a little more itchy spots here and there but not that much anymore so yeah after i do the face wash i will go in with the eye cream from silky i love this guys i had dark circles um under my eyes and i can see it's like getting lighter and after that, I will go into with this product. It's a uh, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, and glycerin product. So I thought it was my serum that was causing the burning sensation, but it was my face wash. I absolutely love, love Silky. But yeah, some of the products wasn't doing it for me. So after my serum, I will just um, put a few drops of this natural retinal alternative booster in my um, moisturizer uh, using E45 according to the eczema. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll just do like a one, two, like two or three drops in my seal and my lotion and then oh my skin immediately feels so nice can you see the glow <laughs> yeah you get a nice glow from these products and my skin feels so soft and hydrated and then last but most importantly i will do my spf i have spf 50 and the lady that was helping me was kind of scolding me she's like you have to wear sunscreen every day and i'm like didn't know or oh, i knew but i always thought like sunscreen was so expensive <laughs> and i like i didn't need it that much but turns out i do a new spf we all do ladies we all do if you don't have the 50 or you don't need the 50 you can do a 30 or you could do a 25 but it's important yeah it's protecting our skin and doing all the lekker cookies what nodig is for ons, ja. Nou, let's go make some breakfast.
much stuff to fill my cupboard with i did my big shopping last week i don't know if the ice is part of the grocery haul but that is what i bought as well so lucas milk you see still drinks milk we have some baked beans and um, peas then we have tomato sauce Oros, we love Oros. Then I have sugar. I bought a two kilogram as well because it was on special. My tea, I prefer Joko or Five Roses. Some two minute noodles, and this is my absolute childhood favorite. This is for me and me alone. And then snacks for the husband because he likes to snack a lot. Um, got some sliced ham and then bacon because the bacon was on special at mackerel drumsticks I love it um, it's very nice with a pie got some lean beef mints and then we got some steaks t-bone steaks and that is about it <laughs> Hey guys, so before we get into self-care mode and starting to unwind for the rest of the day, I just want to talk a little more about goals and goal setting. I am very good at setting goals and this is one I want to achieve this year. I will make a list, I will do the whole thing. But what I'm not good at is achieving these goals and actually succeed and reaching these milestones i'm not good at it somewhere along the line they just gets lost and i am one of those people who makes new year resolutions and don't achieve them but this year is going to be different this year is very personal i am going to focus more on myself i'm going to focus on my career i'm going to spend more time on myself not on Lucia the wife or Lucia the mother but on me myself as a person I am also going to focus on my career which I'm so excited about so I have to set goals and I have to start being more disciplined to actually achieve them I have a little box this was a present from my daddy from two years ago. Ik is baie sentimenteel. So, ek sal nie een geskenk gebruik van iemand unless ek jy nodig het om dit te gebruik jy. And I just feel this is the perfect time to open this present and start using it. I'm just going to show you. So, he gave it for my birthday. I think it was my 29th. Yeah. My 29th verjaarsdag het hy die geskenk hier vir my dat hy het het in die kas gehou vir 2 jaar. So, it's a, it's a coffee mug and um, a cute little key ring chain. Be grateful. And then there is also like a journal type of book. Be grateful. I love the color. I love, I love the pink. Just love it. So, then, yeah, then it's like a journal type of book, which I think it's perfect for me to write down my goals and do like a monthly um, reset or a monthly like evaluation just to see if I made progress or actually put in the work in order for me to achieve these goals and I think this will be a nice journal just to um, keep track of my goals and um, what I want to achieve what I want to do in my career so I won't bore you with a whole lot of goals I set aside for myself but I do want to share some of the important ones like finances I really do want to create a monthly budget and stick to it it's easy to create a budget but sticking to it mm, mm, not that easy for me and it's not like I'm spending all my money or making bad financial choices I think I can just limit 
my spending habits i have quite a few bad spending habits like take out and um i can really start cutting back on it because it's so easy for me to order something and for lunch because it's just me and luca so it's easy i don't have to cook something or make something but it is expensive and the amount that we spend on takeout in a month is insane i think i've mentioned it before i think it's in my meal prep video yeah but that is one of the things i want to really cut back on and start cooking more it's going to be more healthier and i will be saving money so we flee with in club <laughs> and then i also want to start saving more like for for myself for personal use i used to do that when i was in college and then life happened and you had more responsibilities so i tend to take the back seat and i will always just cater for everything around me but myself so I want to start saving more money for myself just to have a treat here and there, self-care days, spa days, or I want to do something nice for myself, then I'll have the money. And um, like I said, this is a very personal year, focusing on myself more career-wise, personal-wise, self-care-wise. So yeah. And then the next thing is my health. I need to get moving more. I need to get active and start exercising. Guys, I was so motivated December. Ik was vier en vlam met sessie opgestaan, die tou gevat en gespring en and then festive happened and I ate all of that <laughs> that that weight in um bad habits right back. So yeah guys, I really want to start exercising again, I just don't know when, <laughs> but I'm planning on starting to exercise and just move more to gain that energy that I need. And I also want to cut some of the unhealthy eating habits, like I think I can cut back on the pasta and the slap chippies and all the nice stuff that I am currently enjoying <laughs> so that is that is just what i have in mind or what my goals are for finances and health and then i think the last important one is my faith i am a christian born and raised the lord is my everything i am a god-fearing woman and i do have my quiet times in the morning we do our prayers. We are a very active, godly household. But I think I can do better when it comes to going to church. Because since moving to Cape Town, I have been not going to church as much as I wanted to. And I miss it. I miss it because when I'm in Calvinia, when I go to church, I'm like, wow, I really do miss church in my life so i am really going to go to church more this year so yeah guys i think that is a few of the most important goals i have a whole page of goals so we can sit here the whole afternoon i don't mind but i really do want to go get my mask on and start reading this new book so yeah i am really excited to be um crushing these goals i have set aside for myself and i hope that i think i'm in the right mindset i think i'm in the right mindset to get my life in order and to start achieving and succeeding in all aspects of my life like i said this is my year it's very personal and with god on my side and with him guiding me i know i will i will achieve these goals
Now for the self-care part of the video. I just took a quick shower because it's hot and I feel sticky and dirty. <laughs> Got some nice comfy clothes on and I oiled my scalp with this rosemary mint oil. Love, love this product. Um, I will recommend it to anyone with unhealthy or naturally love the mini products and then i am going to apply this hyaluronic acid and collagen mask i've been wanting to apply it but i was waiting for a nice peaceful occasion <laughs> so yeah um you just clean your skin and then um you wear it for 15 to 20 minutes I'm so excited for this mask and it's supposed to be super 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 hydrating let me just see I can't even imagine funding funding masks I know it's all the good stuff and what what but so session and um, I feel so relaxed and my skin <laughs> my skin is so hydrated and it feels absolutely amazing I think I should do more mask or incorporate face mask in my skincare routine or self-care routine I am about to start a new book trust me from Leslie Pierce she is amazing she's a uk novelist who writes the most amazing books this one is based on a true story it's about two girls that are shipped off to australia to go live in the orphanage and just navigate their way through life i am so excited to start this book because it's about trust it's about family and um I can't wait. So this is the end of our Sunday reset routine or reset vlog. Tunil and Luca is taking a nap. I am gonna enjoy the peace and quiet, dig into this book and enjoy my tea. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here and sharing into my relaxing Sunday reset. We don't do much. I think that is the point of it, just to relax and plan and prep for the weekend so yeah guys i hope you will have an amazing week i will see you in my next one bye